everyone so far we have learned how to make a circle a rectangle a square and a triangle today we are going to learn how to make parallelograms so a parallelogram is kind of a rectangle with tilted edges and so a parallelogram has got four angles out of which the two opposite angles are equal and the adjacent angles are supplementary that means the adjacent angles add up to 180 degrees so let's start making a parallelogram since the since monday we are doing that when space key is pressed it should go to x0 and y0 that means in the center then it should point in 90 degree direction then it should keep its pen down and then it should clear all the old things we have made now to make a parallelogram let's consider a parallelogram that has got the angles like 120 degree and 60 degree the adjacent angle so first it should move a 100 step then it should turn for 60 degree why 60 degree because we are taking the outer angle so that it goes like this and then it takes the 60 degree turn and goes like this and now it is our pen let's check what have we made till now it turns 60 degree but the 60 degree turn is wrong so let's correct okay it has turned 60 degree and now we needed to move for let's say 50 steps like a rectangle the sides of a parallelogram are equal and the opposite sides are parallel after a wait one second we are going to move it for 50 degrees and then we are going to take a turn of 120 degrees why 120 degrees because we always use the outer angle Now we have got this and so the other two sides are exactly equal like we did in a rectangle and so we can repeat it twice um oh, we forgot a very important thing and that is wait one second here let's see what have what have we got it goes to zero and then it points in 90 degree direction and then it makes a parallelogram isn't that a perfect parallelogram now What if we change this to hundred? Let's look. What have we got? When we changed it to hundred, we have got a perfect rhombus. Rhombus is like a square with tilted edges. But all the sides of a rhombus are equal, so we need not do it twice. We can simply do it repeat for four times, and then move hundred steps and turn sixty degrees. Can we do this? No, we cannot. because in a rhombus we needed to have another turn of 120 degree so we'll have to keep it this way only this is how you can make a perfect parallelogram and a perfect rhombus thank you bye